what? Uh, no, yeah, 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 it's a cold one, yeah. That'd be brilliant. Right, just want to go through this again. Yeah, no, I'm Jay from the Child Protection Team from Cobra UK. Okay. Okay, um, so this is the account that you've been talking to the right. child on. Okay. Yeah, and you've been talking to a 13 year old child. I didn't know I was. What, what does this, this say, sit there and say here? What does it say here, Brad? Can you, can you say that? Can you, can you say that age? Yeah, 13. 13 years of age. Right. I, I will go through this. I will just quickly go through this. Yeah. Right. Because on here it states, yeah, specifically, mm. in two years' time you're old enough to have sex. Yeah. So, specifically, yeah, you knew 100%. Yeah, but I had no intention of meeting her or nothing. But, but Brad. No intention. But Brad. Yeah. You, you, you just said to me that you didn't know her age. Yeah. Now I'm just stating to you that in this chat log, yeah, yeah, you, you was referring to the fact that in two years' time she's legal to have sex. Yeah. yeah. I mean, it's, it's actually three years because she's 13. Yeah. Do you get what I mean? Yeah. Um, I mean, you, you, so, so many references here about. I mean, you was also insinuated meeting this child as well. No, no, I wouldn't. No, I wouldn't. Okay, you can understand. Well, I had no intention of doing it. But. You've insinuated in here that you were bringing this child to. You haven't? No. I had no intention. Would you like me to show you Despite where? what it says in there, I have no intention. Despite what it says in here, yeah, you have no I intention. Yeah, I had no intention, no. So... I was just chatting. You was just chatting? Yeah. Do you realise how damaging this is for a young child when you're chatting like that? What oh, colour knickers are you wearing? No, alright. Yeah, fair enough. I may have yeah. crossed the line. I've crossed the line. Crossed it? You crossed it and circled around the world, chat. Yeah, because, you know, not only was you talking about that, you was talking about masturbation, you was talking about having sex with her. You was no, I didn't ever talk about having sex with her. Brad, Brad. Yeah, Brad, when she was yeah, old you, enough. You sat there and said that you wanted to be her first. No. Yeah, yeah, when she's old enough. But it doesn't stay that in here. It's, it's, well, it, it did. Says. Well, it did. Would you like me to show you? You know, I, I, I can sit there, I've got the whole evidence in front of me. Yeah? Right, I've got the whole evidence in front of me where you were sitting there staying. Yeah? Would you like to sleep with a spotty little boy or someone like me to be your first? That 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 was your word. Yeah, I don't have a problem. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So, yeah. do you have a chat? Yeah. Take him over there. So that was, that was your word in break. Your words no. come out of your mouth. No. It wasn't. So, so someone else has been using your phone. I have no intention of having any sort of underage sex with anyone. So what would you insinuate? I was just talking in general. I was you just was talking, talking in, general in general when she was old enough. I had so, no intention so of doing it. What kind of knickers are you wearing? Is that in general? No, that, well, that, like I said, I crossed the line with that. Yeah, you know, would you like to see my car? Was that in general? No, that was crossing the line as well. The picture that you sent? Yeah, it was Obviously the it's line. not yours. No. But, you know, there's the same charge. Yeah, I know. Yeah, of, of you sending over somebody else's as what it is yours. Mm. So, I'm really... You talking to any more? No. You're not? No. This is, this is the only child that you're talking to? As far as I'm aware, yeah. You sure on that? Yeah. Really? Yeah. You started talking to two of my DPs on my team as well. Tom spoke up a cigarette, Brad. Mm. Well, it's just falling out your ass, isn't it, mate? Yeah, it is. Big time. Yeah. Big time. Do you have an attraction to children? No, I don't. Can I ask them why you're, you're talking to children? I was just talking. I was just talking. But this isn't just talking, is it? Yeah, but a lot of them just... Just, just talking to somebody is, how's your day? Mm. Yeah, right. You know, what colour knickers you wear and would you yeah. like to see my cock and everything else? That's not, that, that's not just talking. No, no. Yeah, that, that's talking in, in a sexual manner where it looks like you're getting gratification out of it. Yeah. It? Yeah, I know.
Why? What? Why? 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 Why are you scouring the internet looking for children? Just hold them. Just hold them. Please, this guy's any further on ruined. Nice. Nice. Oh, I'm sorry, chat but it's... I can't. These are your actions, they're not mine. You know, you, you should have thought of all this, Brad, before you've done all this, fella. You know, at the end of the day, as I said, a, a unit's going to be called. Is, is, is that what you call it a unit, or could you bring a unit for us? Please. Fella, uh, I'm, unfortunately, I can't. You, you've broken the law, fella. You know, you're, you're, group, you're grouping children online. It's something that you just can't turn your back on. It's not like you've gone and taken a Mars bar from the shop, is it? Do you know what I mean? This is grooming children online. There's nothing moving for the year old woman. You married? Living with someone. Three kids. Living with someone with three kids yeah. and, 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 and you're playing away. Yeah, well, personal <laughs> problems. Fucking hell, right. Personal problems. I think I think there's more than personal problems from what I read in this chat. Seri seriously, you know? No. Seriously, this is not normal, Brad. This is this is this is not normal behaviour. This really is not normal behaviour. The, the stuff that I'm reading in here. So, how many other children are you speaking to, Brad? I don't know. Not just a couple. A couple. Yeah. And they all lied about their age on there as well. They all said there was 18. Where, where does that sit down and say? Yeah, I know that where, says it earlier. Where's that on the profile they lied? Okay, right. So, you, you, you sit there, you're going to meet. You, you're going to meet. You're going to meet someone. Yeah, you walk in a store, and there, there's a 10 year old sitting there. Would you walk out of it and think, oh, Christ, too young for me? Yeah, I'm going. What's the difference between that and the internet? I was just talking. What's the, what, but what's the difference, Brad? What is the difference? Yeah, if somebody says that they're 13 years of age, mm. yeah, there's no difference. They're 13. Whether you can see their face or not, and the fact of the matter is, you could see their face because they're sitting in your photographs. You can, you can clearly see, yeah, the age of that child. So what's going to happen now? You're going to get arrested. As I say, we're, we're going to be waiting for a unit to come down. Um, Please stop doing this. Sorry fella, that's what I do. It's what I do. Unfortunately, as I say, I, I come down. Police have come down. I I hand over the evidence to them. No. They'll have a look at it. Um, I can tell you now, with with the type of evidence I've got here, you will be arrested today. Is this going to be put on? Pardon? This video. Th this is this is being recorded for your safety and for mine. It can be used in a court of law. Okay. How are you feeling? Yeah. Fucked. Absolutely fucked. Big time. Mm -hmm. Lost my job, lost my family, lost my home. Big time. Nothing left to do, but to fucking top myself. That's a bit silly, isn't it? Well, what else have I got? What have I got now? Nothing. Well, you have. Well, what? Prison cell. That nothing. At the end of the day, there's no point in having, you know, I, I'm, I'm sorry, I, I, do, I do it all sort of time. Yeah, you know. You, you sitting there saying all this to me, these are your actions, yeah, right? You're gonna have a pity party for one because I, 
it, it's now at the end of the day I, I, I do this day in day out I, I, I see what happens to kids yeah I see what people like you do on online apps yeah in reality to children got nothing more to say you got nothing more to say it starts with this then it could be meeting children it could be going on the live apps getting the children to exploit themselves yeah more so it's quite regular, it happens all the time. I see it day in, day out. I see the aftermath. So anyway, we're waiting for a unit to turn up, unit's on its way. Anyway, we're doing this on behalf today of PSP. Yeah, this is the team that's had you, and obviously we've got two decoys on you as well. Yeah, so well done, Nath, and uh, well done, Layla. Yeah, so that's three, th three children. Yeah, how many more has that read? Or do you not know? Do you not like me then, Brad? You're not going to talk to me now. Well, nothing more to say. Nothing more to say. I'm, I'm fine. I'm, I'm, I'm happy just to sit here and wait in silence for the place to turn up. <coughs> no, I'll, I'll talk. You don't have to say anything. I'm, I'm, I'm happy listening to my own voice. If you get what I mean. What possessed you to, to approach these children to start off with? I oh, know I need to hear you in a minute. I want to let you know what time they'll be here, right? Within the hour, Brad. What's that? No. Oh, okay. You're very clever on these loves, Brad. You even sat there and said that if you showed your face, you'd get in trouble. Yeah, so you catfish someone else. I even stated that uh, you were someone else as well. And the thing is, you, you, you physically hunted this other child down. Yeah, because you, you, you spoke to her on, on one app and then you found her on another. So you actually hunted this one down. So you actually hunted her to, to find her on a different app to speak to her. 
He actually said, sat there and said as well that he was in an apple bar. That's quite disturbing. <clears throat> what colour knickers you wearing and what's your favourite colour knickers, right? So this is the moment you can get it off your chest. Do you get what I mean? So we're going to sit here in silence. Do you want to have a read of that? Do you, do you just want to read it and, and see what you've, you've written? Any past convictions for this? Take a seat down there or something, Brad. No, I'm all right. No, you sure you're all right standing there? Mm -hmm. Got no health conditions or anything we should be worried about? Or nothing like that, you're not gonna have a heart attack on me or nothing like that, man. when they won't talk back, doesn't it? it does. Do you know what I mean? Do you not agree that you need a bit of help, Brad? Because it's clearly an issue, isn't it? At least if you could admit that you do need some help, that's that's a first step, isn't it? Okay. Your phones will be downloaded and <clears throat> everything will come up on what you've been doing on your phone. So it's, it's for your benefit to, to come clean now. As I say, this can be used in the court a lot. So it's for your benefit to come clean on it and then that way. You can sit there and say, you know, just you're honest.
So I'll tell you one bot, right? His account was London for Fun 70. So this, this goes to other teams like us that work around the country. So all, all the decoys that you've been speaking to, uh, <coughs> we can eliminate. Obviously, I don't know who else you've been speaking to. Um, there may be some to say we know you're talking to at least three. idea how many you could be speaking to. Have you received any images from any, because you did ask for images, which is quite a worry, because obviously a decoy won't send you an image, but a real child would. So have you received any images? sound isn't it? Mm. What are you thinking Brad right now? No, it's, it's all right staying silent, but you know, why not just talk to us? You know, at the end of the day, it, it's going to go for you. Do you get what I mean? I understand. But it, 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 it's going to go for you in the long run. I mean, you were, you were very, very clever. Very, very clever. In catfishing someone else and everything else. So I imagine you expected that you wouldn't get caught in doing this. So you're feeling okay and everything? No explanation, no sorry Brad. Have you got any remorse?
did you want to take a seat or something, bro? Because, you know, it, it, it looks better if you can stay in silence sitting down rather than just standing up. I'm, you know, I can't, I can't force you to talk or anything else, but at least get in a comfortable silence rather than an awkward one. It's not just your life that you've destroyed, Brad. It's the relationship that you were in. And the devastation that's going to impact the people that know you and the rest of your family when they find out. think when you were doing it of, of the implications of what would happen if you got caught because the implications are so huge of when you get caught doing this it's, it's, it's a complete life changer It's, it's one thing I've, I've never ever understood that with everyone that we catch they always think they're never ever going to get caught and it just doesn't go through their head you know you're, you're sitting there saying to me you know oh please don't do this it's going to destroy this it's going to destroy that but you know you know the implications before you do it and I don't understand what, why you would take that, that step in knowing that you could possibly get caught, that that in itself, even if you had an attraction to children, should be enough to stop you. you're only the second person I've ever caught that's just going to sit there and, and say absolutely zero. Is there no remorse? Is, is, is there no, you know, no sorry for the people that you put this through? Because even though they're adults, it still hurts. You know, I see with my decoys how, how it affects, affects them doing this job. Do you get what I mean? Because they, they sit there and watch what people think of children uh, and what they say and what they do. Yeah, and many of them have got children themselves. Some of them may be survivors. Yeah, that it's happened to them. And it, it, it breaks people's heart, Brad. It, it, even on our side, where, where we're sitting there and we're watching this. Is there just nothing now? No remorse, no nothing.
to say we do this a lot there's there's a lot of teams of us up and down the country that actually do this volunteer work I'm catching online predators that speak to children online have you not heard of any teams like us that work police resources are really 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 stretched as we would say so we sort of try and take up the slack of what the police can't be and these volunteers they, they work without much without getting paid yeah a lot of them do six ten hours a day unpaid work for a passion a passion of catching online predators and I take my eye off to every single team out there that does it I really do because it's hard do you think the outcome would be Brad if we were parents of a child that you were ch chained to they wouldn't be talking calmly to you would they or if we were another team, everybody around this area would know exactly why we're here. We're doing it very, very calmly. That's what we do. But imagine if we were the parents of the child that you were chatting to. Imagine somebody chatting to one of your children. You found the taxis. I don't think you'll be phoning the police. I think you'd want to try and find out who they were. I would. I'm shocked how talkative you are, Brad. It was very talkative on the chat logs. Now when it comes face to face, you don't want to say a word. No, perhaps, perhaps if we set up an account and I'll put it as a 12 year old, you'll chat with me. But as an adult, you, you don't, don't want to talk to us. And I get that, it's your prerogative, but as I say, it does go better for you. You know, a little bit of remorse. And you haven't shown any, you've not shown one bit of remorse that you're, you're sorry for what you've done. The only thing you're sorry for is, is how it's going to affect you because you're going to get arrested. I think that's selfish. I think that's really selfish, Brad. That that's the only thing that you're, you're sorry for. explanation would help because when the judge watches this video and sees the silence and the arrogance it's just going to add to it. if he could see that there was a form of remorse he gave an explanation as to why he did it or even admitted that you need help that would be the first step but to just stand there and ignore us like we don't exist this is your doing it's, it's not us Brad you went down that path the fake dark cloud is now hanging over you and it's time you know if you want to give us an explanation and show some form of remorse if not for what you've done for what you you're now going to put your family through your relationship, imagine what they're going to be feeling right now. It's going to absolutely destroy them. A man that they love, they now find out that he hunts down children online. And the man that they love does not give an explanation as to why he did that. They're going to feel inadequate.
they weren't good enough because you had to hunt down children. That's going to now scar them. I wasn't good enough for Brad. What did I do wrong? What could I have done? Why didn't I see the signs? They're not going to be able to trust anybody else, probably ever again. But that doesn't seem to bother you, does it, Brad? It's all about you at this moment in time. Let's feel sorry for Brad. Let's not feel sorry for the family that I've just destroyed. The relationship that I've been in, that I've been building, I've destroyed that devastation of my family having to know and friends and family having to know what you've done. We're trying to understand what makes people like you tick. Why didn't you get help when it first started, Brad? Did you not think that... <laughs> no, I'm not here to patronise you. Yeah? At the end of the day, we just want to know, and we're trying to find out why. How long have you been doing it for, Brad? Have you been doing it for long, or, or, or is it a recent thing? Just five, can you hold that a minute while I get my coffee from the car? Cheers. I'm a bit worried to go away just in case I miss something. I don't think so. I don't think Brad's got anything to say. At least give us some assur assurance that you're not going to be doing this again, Brad. That would be something, to know that we're not going to be picking you up again. Or another team. Sorry? I said you've got no fear of that. I mean, you know, you've spoken, Brad, and I'm, I'm that is good. I mean, you know, what happened, mate? Come on. What, what, what happened? How, how, how did you get into this? I think it said it was just chat. Mm. I had no intention of ever meeting them. No. No intention. I can understand what you're saying, Brad, but you know, even so, I mean, why didn't you chat to, to an adult? I chat to everyone. Yeah. Everyone. You know, I know the damage has been done, Brad, but when they told you what their age was, you, you, the easiest thing would have been just delete. Mm. Delete them. Gone onto another adult site or onto a site, you know. 
and we wouldn't be here now, Brad. But, you know, thank you for giving us that insurance that, you know, you won't be doing it again. That's, you know, that that's something. And that really is something, so thank you for that. Do you see press? No, I've got my own friends. Excuse how long it takes for a unit to turn on, but sometimes they're busy. So that, that's something we can't control. Yeah, the um, officer I spoke to basically says within the hour, but they know that he's safe. Yeah. So if anything else comes up, then it's will be Right. Yeah. <laughs> well, that shows they trust him. Sort of. Yeah. Yeah. Sure, you don't want us to try and find a seat for you to sit down on, Brad, yeah? Would you like a, us to find you a seat? Brad's told us he's not going to be doing it again. So that's that's a positive. I oh, appreciate that. That's good. Oh, yeah. You said the truck go and show the evidence. Why are there so many of them, though? Right? Hmm. Wow, a bit of attention there. I suppose it makes them feel uh, even more important with that going on. That's ridiculous. And it's drawn unnecessary attention. <coughs> any medication that they need to know about Brad make sure that you do tell them yeah, yeah. 
if you haven't eaten or anything like that, also let them know because you are entitled to have some food, etc, etc. Okay, mate, at this point I'm going to rescue the pools in from the fire activity with a child, okay? So if you could just show them your hand. Okay. No, you're stuck to see, Dad. Got the uh, people in there saying well done. Hmm? People, the ladies in there are telling us well done. And uh, okay. Does that
Let Jay know. Okay, guys, um, Jay's handing over the details to the uh, police at the moment. As you can see, uh, Brad, whose real name is Brett, um, has now been cautioned. He's been searched. Uh, unfortunately, he hasn't given any uh, explanation or an account as to why he's done uh, what he's done um, doesn't appear to be any form of remorse sadly so there's no explanation what led him to start uh, chatting to children online i.e. our decoys well done the decoys that had to endure this um, and the other teams that were involved uh, I believe my colleague said another two has now uh, come forward um, Unfortunately, I don't want to start messing around with the phone in case I uh, delete anything. But that is Brad. Who is now going to spend some time in police custody. Hopefully, he uh, will not be doing this again. We've no idea whether he has any convictions for this. Um, we haven't been alerted to that. We hope he hasn't. We also hope that he hasn't uh, been chatting to any real children. Obviously, uh, you know, we have to feel sorry for the uh, partner. We've no idea how old the children are that he's with uh, or that the partner has, but um, we have to feel sorry for them because they've, they've trusted this man to come into their lives He's ruined that trust. His partner is probably going to feel very inadequate. He's going to constantly wonder why um, he wasn't happy with her, why he had to actively, and I say actively, seek out children, because that's what he did, as you heard earlier on. Brett was on an app, chatting to one of our decoys, and then actively searched 
actively searched to find this child again to continue with the conversation um, what does that tell you about this individual you can't just say it was a one off there's no way it was a one off because he actively hunted down the child stroke decoy that he'd previously been chatting to I shall now pass you over to Jay who will give you a further update Yes, Steve. You're welcome. Just going to use the toilet. All right, fella. Right, okay, so evidence has been passed over to the police. Um, as you can see over there, um, Brad's got a nice set of Pandora's on. Yeah, not supposed to be called the police. Whoops, Daisy. Um, so Brad's got his Pandora's on. Um, evidence is great. Uh, well done, PSP. Um, fantastic chat logs. Uh, also, well done, Knife. Uh, one of our new decoys is going to be an up and coming star, I reckon he is. He's an absolute star, is our Knife. And obviously, uh, we've got Layla on him as well. Uh, plus another two decoys, I believe. So I think that's five all together. Yeah, so I believe that's five altogether on Brad. Um, quite a few, really. For someone that's only talking to one. In, in relation to the... Right, hang on. Do, do you want to take that? Cheers. Well, I say the place has been, uh, place has been absolutely fantastic up here. Um, really, really, really good. Um, as they usually do, Hearts Place are, are absolutely amazing. Uh, massive respect to them. Um, a bit of a busy area that we went to today, but we was here early in the morning, so it's, it's just started to get a little bit busy now. Um, luckily, we got tucked away somewhere, and it was nice and quiet. So Brad was a little bit over talkative. Um, couldn't get a word in edgeways. But it is what it is. At least he's off the streets. Um, doesn't seem to have a great deal of remorse really, which is quite sad. Um, says he's not going to do it again. But we'll see. Because we all know, don't we? That um, many of those people we catch again and again and again. So just have to see what happens um, we're off very shortly um, possible free today so that was the first one um, we will see what happens so yeah there's some other uh, people sitting at home at the moment probably with their feet up having a nice cup of tea or coffee that um, we're going to be knocking on the door later and um, saying hi to. I'm sure they look forward to it. I think a nice coffee in a minute. Nice latte. We're next to a Starbucks coffee, and I do like Starbucks coffee. So 
yeah, it could be a busy day for us today. We'll see what happens, you never know what the day entails, do you? I'm afraid guys, uh, ETA is on the next one. We, we, we don't know at the moment, so, um, you know, it all depends whether I stop off and get a burger as well, because I do like a burger, me. But probably next one. Well done. Thank you very much. No, I mean that. Well done. Appreciate that. Thank you. I appreciate that. So the reception is been absolutely fantastic, actually. Um, had the guys from uh, one of the restaurants all standing at the window clapping, which was really, really nice, actually, to be appreciated. I believe we're just waiting for a van to turn up. Um, we'll, we'll see where we go. I've got an officer coming to me again now. Um, okay. I'm mind sending over that stuff to me as soon as possible. Yep, no worries. Um, I imagine he's going to need to be watching custody because he's made some comments to your, your guy there, Steve. Um, so, yeah. Okay, fantastic yeah. stuff. All right, I appreciate yeah, that, you pal. All right. All right, cheers, buddy. Well, sorry I'm moving, guys, if it makes you feel sick looking at the floor. Um, so I'm sorry, just really waiting for a van to turn up. But I do like getting them going into the van. It's like a happy ending, isn't it, really? For us, anyway, not for them. I believe it's Brad. Brett. Brett. Oh, his name's Brett, not Brad. Oh dear. That was me calling him Brad. <laughs> Which was so talkative, wasn't he? I wonder if Brett will be as talkative in his interview as what he was with us. Obviously he was lost for words. Yeah, obviously a lot of people know the uh, problems teams are having at the moment, going live, losing things and everything else. Um, been a little bit hard. Over there, look. I just can I zoom it in over there? There you go. There you go. Look, look, he's talking to them. Stop it down. Lady with a shopping trolley walking past.
Yeah, well, I, I weren't there when the uh, police officer asked him to uh, spell out his name. Uh, I, I was dealing with the police. That's his real name. Yeah. I so say what he'd done, he'd uh, he'd been catfishing another male, um, as they do, expecting that they won't get caught. So massive, 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 massive well done to Casper on this one. Um, smashed it, girl. Absolutely smashed it. Oh, so there's another decoy as well. It makes six. I think this one's a bit of a dark hole, so I reckon he's been talking to quite a few, to be honest with you, um, from, his, from his chat logs. Very, very splitty, explicit. What was going on? I just don't, don't get this fascination with the colour of knickers people are wearing and, and also catfishing, catfishing other, other photographs. He's uh, trottling down there. So obviously he's going into his. Uh, you know, putting that, actually putting him in the police car, I believe. So it's proper zoomed in. So there he goes, getting in the car. There you go, have it, Brett. So that's one bagged and tagged for the day. Uh, hopefully another two to go. So uh, thanks for the support guys, and um, well done PSP, Knife, Layla, and all the other decoys that have had him. And um, we'll see you again a little bit later. Take it easy guys.